Hi Divas! I have an absolutely gorgeous Diamond Art Club square for you. It sold out like the first day that it got um, that it got out there, the first or second day. It was sold out almost right away. It was um, a Black Friday special back in November 2023. It's taken me this long to unbox it, but I've got to tell you, it it was worth it. It was worth the wait. I can't wait to show it to you. So here it is, Herald of Peace by Judy uh, Jody Bergsma. She's one of my favorite artists. It is a square. It is 70 by 93 centimeters, and I can't wait to show it to you. Let's dig in. As I'm pulling this out, I um, have determined not to, sp to spend so much on diamond paintings this coming year. Um, I am going to support more small companies, and um, I've only purchased one. 2024, I've only purchased one so far. Yeah, it's only the second week in January. I get it. But um, I'm trying. I'm trying not to buy as nearly as many um, diamond paintings because I have a huge stash. And speaking of de-stashing, on my Etsy shop linked below, I do have a bunch of Diamond Art Club and, and uh, other premium kits and budget kits de-stashed on my Etsy shop. And if you let me know you are a diva, I will put in an extra gift with your purchase. Anyway, this is Herald of Peace by Jody Bergsma. You do get a small um, sticker to put on the end of your box or in your um, notebook. Let's see. And yeah, I know you've seen me un open a toolkit before, but for those who are new to Diamond Art Club, let me just show you. If you have never ordered from Diamond Art Club before, there is a 15% discount, an affiliate link in the discount, um, in the dis description box below. You do get a white tray with a removable stopper so that you can shake your drills around a little bit. You get a random colored pen and squishy with every square. You do get a pointy tweezers. Very, very handy. I do like to use them. You get a bag of baggies to help kit up or tear down. You get a heart with two hearts of pink wax. You also get standard a four and a seven multiplacer, which I love to use and you get a random cover minder which is a magnet to put underneath your canvas when you peel back the plastic canvas you snap on the um, the cover minder on the top to keep the plastic out of the way as you are working on the canvas you also get a random colored washi tape and let me see this is to help keep the dust off of the gluey edges of the canvas and to help you line up your first, oh, this is gorgeous. I love this color washi tape with the purples. Your first row, especially of the squares, um, to keep them nice straight rows. Oof, gorgeous. Love it, love it. I'm actually gonna keep this one out. I love that. <clears throat> All right. You get a low lint canvas, a nice stiff, um, stiff but soft, and it has a non-fray edge. I'm going to roll this the opposite way so it relaxes, so I can show it to you in all its glory. And believe me, this is glorious. Hmm. Wowzers. As the canvas relaxes, 
let me show you. Each Diamond Art Club <clears throat> comes with its own instruction kit and uh, tips and tricks and discounts included in there. It gives you a large sticker. Look how gorgeous that's going to be. Oh, look how gorgeous that's going to be. With a large sticker on this side for your notebook and individual stickers for your kitting up. This one is going to have 65 different colors. It's going to have two fairy dust and it will have one, two, three, four Aurora Borealis um, out of those 65 colors. Okay, let me show you this gorgeous canvas. This is the bottom. <clears throat> and you see the lamb. You can see the lamb next to the birch trees. And she's got a, um, a wreath, a holly wreath around her neck. And there's some holly at the bottom of these white birch trees. There, it's kind of like a, a path underneath. And this is a beautiful white lion. And it's um, in Revelation, the book of Revelation. It's like the lion will lay down with the lamb, and it means peace. It means peace for the holiday season. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Let me move that over here. Put that out of the way. This is beautiful. Look at the angel. Look at the angel. Look at her, how gorgeous she is. The golden wings. They've got peace doves over here. A peace dove with um, a red bow around its neck. Oh, I love this blue and gold um, uh, robe that she's wearing and the, the uh, trumpet that she's playing. It's got a teal, um, teal around the moon. It almost looks like it has a face. And there are a pair of doves in the uh, in the tree branches as well and it's snowing and it's snowing oh the purples the blues the golds the teals the surprise colors in this Ooh, it's even got teal in the lion teal and purple in the lion mane oh my goodness oh isn't she beautiful oh she's beautiful beautiful oh i can't wait to show you all the drills let's get into that now shall we Mm, big pack of drills. On each pack of drills, you will see the name of the kit, just in case you separate the, the canvas and the drills. Ooh. Let me get these situated and I'll show you them individually. Here now are the drills. <laughs> you get this many three tens. Seriously, with this many three tens, I think I would have changed it to one of the super dark, the other super dark Carlos, like the 823 or something like that. But anyway, and 640 is like a gray, dark gray, with this beautiful lilac purple. Oh yeah, beautiful lilac. This gorgeous. Um, mint. It's not a mint. It's more like a um, a baby blue. Even a, a, a babier than baby blue. <laughs> a lot of those in there. This is more like a light blue. Light baby blue. Pretty, pretty, pretty blue. The colors in this are phenomenal. Look at the teal. The dark teal. And the rust. Gorgeous. The browns. Of course you have some browns and some basics so that the rest of them pop, right? Right. You've got the browns because you do have some browns and grays in the trees for sure. And there's blue grays in here like Williamsburg blues. There's navy blues and taupes and the teals and the super dark gray. And then you have some pinks and rusts and fuchsias. Some mauves and rust. Green, purple, peach. And blue, uh, like a Williamsburg blue. Another purple. 
purple, lavender purple. There's more of the, look at that teal. Oh, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. And then you have some of the, you don't know, it's kind of like a plum. Kind of like a rusty plum. And some more of the blues. Or just, I think color really makes the kit. This one could have been like lots of white and gray, but instead it's got purples and reds and peaches and rusts and teals. Just phenomenal colors. Here's some of the tree grays, dark sky blue. Here's some more of the tree, the birch tree colors. And lots of Snow White in here too, and I'll show you that in a minute. And more of the blue. Let me put these away to show you the specials. Let me show you where all the specials go. First of all, look at all of these fairy dust whites. All of those fairy dust whites. There's a little hitchhiker in there, but they are the dots, okay? They are the snow. And of course, the snow goes everywhere. <clears throat> Let me show you where the snow goes. All right. Of course, it goes in the tops of the wings. It goes in all the snow coming down. It goes in her hair. It goes in the moon and in the tops of the, um, the branches where all the snow would lay on the tops of branches. It goes in the lion's mane and in the dove and more of the snowflakes coming down. goes on top of the lion's nose and its muzz and all over its mane. Oh, almost all fairy dust white. And more on the edges of the trees and on the ground and all over the lamb. The lamb is such a beautiful combination of the whites and grays. And then you still see whites at the very bottom on top of the paws and across the snowy ground. It's going to be phenomenal beautiful. Phenomenal beautiful. The next is the other fairy dust. Let me see where that one is. The other fairy dust is this light blue fairy dust. Mm. Okay. The fairy dust teal, like light teal, like a mint green blue, goes in right around the moon and in the edges of the moon, right in the moon. And it's reflected on the top of her hair. That's where they go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Perfect, perfect. Now for the Aurora Borealis. Oh, let's see. Why do I have... That's not a warm place. I don't know why that's over here. <clears throat> I have four of the ABs. The number ones are the 100s. The 106, I'm sorry. The ones are the, no, the 100. Okay. The 100s are these greens, and that's a number one, and that is in the green holly here in her hair. And the green holly and the green holly around the lamb's neck and at the bottom of the birch tree. That's the green. All right. The next one is a 106. That's the, the off-white AB. That is a number two. That is all over the paws on the back side of the lamb here. 
um, a little bit on the front paws of the lamb. Um, on the side of the tree here, in the trees. It goes in the lion's mane. All over the lion's muzz and across the top of his nose. And in his mane here. That's beautiful. And the little hair from his chinny chin chin. More up the side of the trees. More ABs. They're leading you all the way up here. There's some in her wings. Right on the edges of her wings. Oh, that's beautiful. Right at the tops of her wings. Very pretty. Very pretty. And in this, the her glow, her halo glow. And in her hair. Very pretty. Very pretty. The twos in the tree stop when it brings your attention over here to the halo. Mm. Superb. The third one, the number threes, are the bright orange, and there's not very many of them. So they're going to be a little tricky to find. Mm. Ah, not too tricky. Right here down her coat. In the orange coat and on the top of her horn. Right here. Mm. Yep, that's all where the oranges are. And the dark blue. The number fours. Let me see where the fours are. It's a white four on a dark blue background. Okay. Got it. <laughs> okay. I see them in her dress. In her dress. Let me roll this up a little bit and show you the rest of them. All the dark blue, the super dark blue in her dress. are the dark blue. So she gets a lot of the Aurora Borealis, and I like that. I like that a lot. Yes. Right there's the thumbnail, baby. This this was a treasure. This is a treasure. I'm so glad I got this one. Uh, even if I'm working on these for the next 20 years until I'm 80-something, I'm falling in love with this. You know, some of these leave me speechless, and this is one of them. This is a beauty. I appreciate you spending your valuable time with me. And if you've come to the end of, reached the end of the video with me, please put a like and subscribe in, in there. That's the biggest, that's the second biggest way to help the channel. The first is watching it to the end. But um, put a comment down below. Um, do you like angels? Do you collect angels like I do? Do you have any diamond painting um, or other crafty angels that you like to make or uh, somehow commemorate this way? Also, if you would like to support the channel in other ways, feel free to um, check out my Etsy shop. And if you purchase anything from my Etsy shop, links down below. I will send you a free gift if you say you're a diva, or if you'd like to support this channel on an ongoing basis, you can become a member, a YouTube member. And uh, when you fill out the member questionnaire, and I have your birthday, you'll start getting birthday surprises mailed to you. All right, thank you for coming, divas. I look forward to doing more whipping chats with you, to meeting more of you during our whipping chats on Tuesday night lives at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Soon we'll be coming up with a whip and chat Zoom where we can actually see each other and see what we're working on at the same time. Be on the lookout for those. All right, divas, see you later. Bye.